Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Today, one of our moderators, Matt, who goes by Chicago Trader in MIC, has a how to series every Sunday on fundamentals or reading filings. And today, we have a special video on foreign issuers. And while today is just a preview of the full length video, if you want to watch the full length or any of our exclusive content, then become an MIC member. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chicago Trader here, checking in for the weekly fundamental video. Uh, just want to go over a few things that uh, I had questions on through DMs and uh, a couple other things I thought might be relevant and applicable for you guys. But uh, so there's a few foreign issuers moving this week, and uh, the first that comes to top of mind, ATAI. So obviously their filings are different; they're uh, under less stringent rules. Um, first thing, so a lot, you'll see that they don't do the quarterly filings, uh, you know, no 10Qs. So they just do basically their 10K as a 20F. Um, so then when you come down to, um, well, they don't have a shelf. That was another thing. People were screaming on this, that there was going to be an offering. Um, you know, you got to have an S1 or S3 to do that. And as you can see, nothing in the past 10 years. So here, this one was a little bit trickier. Um, so you can see if you do the same thing, I believe it pops up. Yeah, so KTOV, um, you can see here it says it represents, uh, you know, 180S represents 20 ordinary shares. So then you come back here and you look at the most recent offering, uh, which was on the 19th. It actually had updated. They must have changed it. It says each ADS represents one ordinary share. Um, so definitely some easy to get a little bit confused on this one. Same thing. You can punch it in here. Uh, so it's a one-to-one -one basis. Not only that, um, with this too, uh, there's a lot of questions on the float of it. So, I mean, obviously you can see the non-affiliates was 15.4 million uh, a couple days before this offering. However, you got to factor in the um, 3.4 million shares that were offered this day. So, um, you know, basically right around 19 million was a flow, give or take a few. And then what else was ABGR Avenger? This one was moving as well. Um, brought this one up because there's a couple people that I was talking with. Um, that said that there was some warrants that were only exercisable if they got the FDA clearance. Um, so you scroll down here, and this was the paragraph. Uh, so bear with me. I'm going to try to read this whole thing. Uh, subject to certain ownership limitations, the Series B preferred stock is currently convertible anytime at the options of the holders in the, uh, the company's common share at uh, 0.40. So... Um, that means there's, you know, each Series B convertible is uh, into 2,500 shares of common stock without additional consideration. Hey, traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.